city. Um, I Googled the transfer times around the country, what different um, regions have for their times. Um, they're ranging from three hours to as low as 45 minutes, um, with the average being about two hours. Um, so yeah, why the fuss, right? Um, I thought about my experience with the two-hour transfers, um, why the changes here have been such an issue. Um, when I lived in Virginia, back in Fairfax, um, when budgets got tight, the first thing they did um, when they were looking at fair uh, service cuts was to reduce transfer times. But that was to main ser maintain service. Um, drivers would often use their own discretion to provide transfer times for cash riders, um, and even issued pay paper transfers to smart card users if there had been delays on the subway or they had to suddenly take a shuttle because something had happened. Um, I spoke with uh, one of my folks from BRU, um, and when he was in Seattle, he actually ended up with an end-of-the-day transfer, and the driver explained that there was less service after 7 p.m., so it would take longer for him to get where he needed to go. Um, TriMet operators, and I used to live out here in um, outer southeast, um, often provided longer times for weekend service because there were just fewer buses running. Um, and for someone like me, um, it was tough. I had two kids, and we were running back and forth to the bus, to the grocery store and things, and there's not really a lot of north-south service. Um, so I've been trying to figure out what TriMet's intent was, ultimately, in reducing the transfer times. Um, standardizing them which I've, I've heard that word a lot, could have meant setting them all at three hours or lowering them to two and a half. Um, it didn't have to necessarily be two. Um, the system isn't in econo like dire economic straits. You're not on the verge of shutdown. Um, and again, a natural result of lowering and reducing those transfer times is that um, there have been higher fares, for cash riders and people who buy one-way tickets, and the added consequence of restricting low-income people to bus service just in their local neighborhoods. Um, and in some instances, in a lot of instances, just pulling them off of public transit altogether. Um, you know, before the FTA's decision, um, TriMet, we didn't really discuss transfer times. A lot of people came through saying, hey, this is a real fair increase for us. We really need help with it. Um, and there even wasn't the agreement with Opal and BRU to try to hit a compromise. Um, and I'm running out of time, so let me do this really quickly, sorry. Um, in highlighting the realities of those of us whose lives hinge upon TriMet, um, I always encourage the board to consider the human element, and that's your passengers, all of us. It's the men and women and children who ride TriMet all the time on both, both sides of the river. Um, each day that you delay is another day that someone has to risk going to work with only enough money for a one-way fare, or wonder if they can make it to the doctor's office or to the pharmacy for a prescription, or a family has to decide if they can take their kids out on an outing. At some point, we all choose to just make a decision, to just do it. Um, this is your opportunity to just do it. Um, reverse the fare increase so that we can all continue to take care of ourselves and our families. Thank you for your comments. You. And I'm pleased to hear that you're going to write the F